In this video, we are going to learn what is Vedic Mathematics and what are its uses. Coming to Vedic Mathematics, it's very very useful for the school students and the students who are preparing for the competitive exams. It is useful for everyone, everyone, whomever it may be. Suppose if you are preparing for a competitive exam, it is very very useful for you and at the same time if you are in a school, if you are learning in a school, if you are studying in a school, it is very very useful for you. Why? Because you, if you have any math phobia, you can come out of math phobia using the Vedic Mathematics and the techniques which are we are going to learn Vedic Mathematics and at the same time this Vedic Maths is a boon for all especially for the students and math lovers teachers and whomever it may be it is a boon for us why because with the help of Vedic Maths we can come out of the math phobia and the people who is who are loving the mathematics okay this Vedic Maths will make them to enhance their love to the new levels okay so let us start our journey into the Vedic Maths. Now, Vedic Mathematics. From thousands of years ago, right, we have many great mathematicians just like Aryabhata, Bhaskaracharya, Pauliri Mallana, Ramanujan. Okay, like this, we have many great mathematicians. Okay, they, in, they discovered many new theories, they invented many new theories. But in the meanwhile, what happened? We lost all this knowledge because of many reasons. Maybe uh, uh, conquering of some other countries on our country. So, and at the same time, up to some extent, we have our negligence is also there. But anyhow, the term Vedic mathematics is coming into existence from 19th century itself, from 18th, uh, from 20th century starting itself. Okay, this term Vedic Mathematics, let us know clearly the term itself represents what Vedic Mathematics, the term Vedic, what do you mean by Vedic or Veda, Veda means knowledge, Veda means knowledge, we have four Vedas, these Vedas are the ancient scripts written by our forefathers, there is everything in Vedas, whatever you want that is there in the Vedas. Okay, so what are the four Vedas we have? Rig Veda, Yajur Veda, Sama Veda, and finally Atharvana Veda. So the fourth Veda, Atharvana Veda, this is the base for all the science, technology, architecture, and whatever may be, the even the mathematics also. So from this fourth Veda, we have that we have taken the mathematics. We have taken mathematics. Fine. The term Vedic mathematics came into existence in the starting of 20th century, and this term is given by a great personality between 1911 to 1916, and his name is Swami Bharati Krishna Tirthaji. Swami Bharati Krishna. Tirtaji. Actually, Swami Bharati Krishna Tirtaji, we call him as Swamiji also. So, Swamiji, even though he is a monk, even though he is a monk, he is very good at physics, mathematics, Sanskrit, and English. In these areas, he is very good. So, what this great personality did between 1911 to 1916. He went deep into the meditation and he recollected all the sutras which are related to the mass from the fourth Veda, Atharvana Veda. He recollected all the sutras which are re uh, related to the mathematics from fourth Veda, Atharvana Veda. Now, what do you mean by sutra? What do you mean by sutra? Sutra nothing but formulae. Sutra nothing but? Sutras nothing but formulae. So, what do you mean by sutras? Sutra means formulae. So, so what Swamiji did between 1911 to 1916, he went into deep meditation and he recollected 29 sutras. That means 29 formulas. Okay. And he gave a name to this concept. Okay. To these 29 sutras and, the, and their application as Vedic mathematics. Since then, the term came into existence. 
even though the, the mathematics is there before thousands of years thousands of years ago in our india but the term vedic mathematics come in, came into existence because of this great personality okay now so what are these 29 sutras and how they help to make maths easy to make the calculations easy okay now see here there are 16 sutras and 13 upasutras 16 sutras and 13 upasutras sutras means formulae and upasutras means sub formulae upasutras means what sub formulae so like that sub formula is nothing but the corollary just like we have in mathematics the corollary after the theorem similarly we have 16 sutras and 13 upasutras that means 16 formulae and 13 sub formulae are corollary corollary in the total we have 29 formula with the help of these 29 formulas we are going to do the maths easier faster and simpler so using these 29 sutras or these 29 formulas okay anybody by applying these sutras anybody can do the maths easier faster and simpler okay now now we will see so this is the brief introduction of vedic mathematics now we will see the application part